Guys, I can't believe it, but MMA Nutrition was on TV in front of 230,000 people. And in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how I was able to do that. And as a bonus, I'm gonna show you how you can do it completely for free. Now, the reason that I was able to get hard work, my electrolyte product on TV in front of hundreds of thousands of people is because of sponsored TV ads. There are tens of millions, if not hundreds of millions of people in America and all over the world that watch streaming TV like Prime Video and all these other streaming platforms. Now, with sponsored TV ads, you can get access to these audiences and you can advertise on streaming TV. So in this video, I'm gonna give you an overview of sponsored TV ads. I'm gonna walk you through step-by-step step exactly how to set up a campaign, and I'm gonna share with you my results, which by the way, guys, you're gonna love. And stay till the end, because I'm gonna show you guys exactly how you can get a $500 promotional credit so you can try this out and see results for yourself. As you guys can tell, people are consuming more and more video content, especially streaming TV, right? People used to watch classic television, you know, when you get the boxes with the channels or there wasn't even boxes, right? You could just get the channels when you plug into the wall. Then we had the boxes with the hundreds of channels. And then everything started going to online, to streaming. And streaming TV has become incredibly popular. And I think right now is an incredible opportunity to take advantage of being able to advertise on streaming TV. And as with anything, I think that over time, there is gonna be some level of saturation. So right now is the best time to take advantage. When I was at Amazon Accelerate in September, I got a statistic from Amazon that was pretty crazy, right? This was in the session where they announced, you know, streaming. TV and sponsored TV ads. Now the statistic was if an Amazon shopper saw a sponsored TV ad before seeing a regular sponsored ad, sponsored products ad, it resulted in a 110% better purchase rate. 110%. That's actually a pretty insane statistic. And of course, like many of you, I was pretty skeptical until I tried it and I want to share with you the results. And the results are pretty interesting. You're going to see what I mean. Another statistic I heard there was when a customer saw a sponsored TV ad before a sponsored product ad, they got 58% more new to brand conversions. And obviously for a brand like MMA Nutrition, I love new to brand customers because acquiring new customers means I can retarget them later on with DSP and get them to purchase again. I can get them to subscribe and save and I can have a large lifetime value for that customer. So I acquire them once and I can get them to purchase again and again and again. And obviously that makes me more profit. Okay guys, so let's jump right into the computer, into campaign management manager, I'm going to show you step by step exactly how to set this up. All right, guys. So uh, as always, starting in campaign manager, I'm going to scroll down, click create a campaign like I would always do when I'm creating campaign. Now where it says choose your campaign type, I'm going to scroll to sponsor TV. Now you can see it's in beta. Click continue. Now I'm going to walk you step by step through, you know, exactly how I set this up, right? So you have campaign settings, campaign name, dates, start and end, daily budget, the ad settings, send it to the brand store or to the product detail page, which I'll cover, creatives, the ad group, and then the targeting, right? So let's get into each one of them. First of all, campaign settings, campaign name. I'm going to start with the product code. So HFB, which is hard, hard work fruit blast. And then I'm going to call it TV. So I know it's a TV ad. Then I'm going to choose what source of video it is. So in this case, I'm just going to call it video one. And then I'm going to also choose the targeting. I'm just going to put targeting here, right? Just to make it generic. I'm going to copy this and I'm going to go down here. This is the ad name. So let's just put, you know, video one, right? Because it's an ad. And then the ad group will be the same as the campaign, right? So since I'm only doing one ad group, typically, right? One campaign, one ad group. The reason I like to do this is because it's easier for me to control the budget when it's multiple ad groups, then I don't know where the budget is going. I would love to control the budget on the ad group level, um, but you know, I just control it on the campaign level. So one campaign, one ad group, I name them the same thing. So it's not confusing. Now daily budget, I'll just start at 150. 150 a day is fine. We'll see how the spending goes. Now there's two options where to send the product. Landing page, or product detail page. So when people see it on streaming TV, again, remember that it's not gonna be your typical, okay, I see it on TV, click on it. There is gonna be some sort of like interactive element, like a QR code that you can you know, scan and then it'll take you to the page or something like that. So here where it says, you know, brand store shoppers who visit a brand store purchase 56.5% more frequently and 67.1% higher average order value. Here's what I would do. I would split test. I always split test. So I would do, you know, a test of sending it to the MMA nutrition homepage or to the product detail page. In this case, let's just do product detail page. My product detail page is a well optimized landing page. You know, it has uh, creatives that basically speak to the customer, sell the product, explain the benefits, all that kind of stuff. Now, when it comes to creatives, click add a creative. Make sure you pay attention to the video specs here, right? This usually I'll screenshot this, send it to my uh, editor, video editor. I'll send it to the agency that is doing the production for me and say, 
I need to get the video in this format. I have kept the videos under 29 seconds or under 30 seconds, 29 seconds. The reason is because typically when I see ads on streaming TV, they're 30 seconds or less. Now, I'm not 100% sure um, the best length. It says here six to 45, 15 seconds could be the better length, right? And so what I would recommend is as with anything, split test different video lengths and split test different type of videos, right? Click here, add video. I'm going to upload a video, choose the video, open, and now you will see it load. Now, one thing I want to touch on guys is video moderation, right? So you're uploading these videos. It's not just about specs, right? The specs that you see, this is what's going to be rejected or not rejected based on like the specs, the technical specs of the video. However, Amazon could also reject your video for many other reasons. Like for example, making claims, like claims that, you know, you're not allowed to make on Amazon. So there is a whole list of what is allowed and what's not allowed. So I highly recommend you guys go in. I will link in the description where you can learn more about, you know, kind of some of the guidelines for the videos on Amazon that you can use for this type of advertising. I mean, you know, obviously sponsor brand advertising, like video ads has kind of same guidelines when it comes to videos and using video. So I want you guys to go through it carefully and if you get rejected, it's okay. You can adjust the video and you can try again and remove something that, you know, Amazon is not allowing you to do. I want you to pay attention to that because a lot of times I've fallen into the trap of getting my videos rejected either due to a technical spec or due to like putting something in there that I shouldn't have or Amazon does not allow. File has completed the upload, 100%. I click done. Now, targeting, let's click add targeting. And you'll see here we have, you know, different types of target. And so when I click browse, we have content interest, right? So what are they interested in? What kind of content? So for example, I could look for sports. If I think that, you know, my product is an electrolyte powder and it's going to appeal to sports, or I could go with Amazon suggestions. So in this case, electrolyte replacement drinks for sure. Endurance and energy powders. Hmm. I would rather stay like in hydration, right? So in this case, let's type in hydration search. Hydration packs, hydration, okay, let's do electrolytes, not horse electrolytes, <laughs> that's a human electrolyte. So basically, you know, I'm, I'm going to go through this list and I'm going to look for targeting. Now, there's a couple ways you could do this. Like I said, you know, here you could browse, uh, you know, in market. So in market, I could go to health and household, health kit, vitamins, minerals, supplements, and then I can go down this list, mineral supplements, no... Mm, antioxidant. So, you know, go through the list and see what works for you. So you can browse. Um, what I suggest is I would do one target at a time. So in this case, I'm going to do just this target. Now, the reason that I do everything so singular is because again, it gives me control. And so this is what I would do. Start with, you know, one video and maybe three types of targeting. So the exact same video, 29 seconds, targeting one, targeting two, targeting three. And then see which targeting performs the best. And if a certain targeting performs the best, maybe it's an indication that that's a good targeting. So then I would take that video and I would do three different types of videos. So I would do, you know, campaign one, which is video one, maybe just change the lens. Maybe do a 29 second, a 15 second, a 40, 44 second, right? Those three different lengths. And then I could maybe see which length works the best. And then I could do, a, you know, type of video one, type of video two, type of video three. You know what I mean? Like, so maybe one is like, it's not a real human like shot video. It's more like, uh, 3d and, and that kind of stuff maybe the other one is actually like there's actors and stuff in the video different production types maybe one is like more of a like short form content you know like you see on social media but like you know horizontal and, and more like you know clicky clicky that kind of stuff again i'm testing different targeting i'm testing different content at the end of the day creative is is going to be the biggest thing that gets customers to convert and now one final nuance is do understand that as you build streaming tv ads you might not see the return directly in that campaign. So look at your total spend and your total sales. For example, you're saying I was spending a thousand dollars and my total sales were three thousand dollars. And now after using sponsored TV ads, I'm spending fifteen hundred dollars. How much is my total sales? They went from three thousand to five thousand, two thousand dollars in additional sales based on five hundred dollars more on sponsored TV ads. And that is incrementality. And if you do this, you're actually going to be able to understand the growth and the results from sponsored TV ads. And I will show you at the end how I did this for myself. And again, don't rush it. It doesn't have to be like, um, in 48 hours and 72 hours, my sales didn't grow. It's not working. 
give it some time. Again, there's split testing and there's also, you know, attribution. Sometimes people will see video on streaming TV, then they'll go on Amazon looking for a product and then see your product and recognize it from the ad and then click on that ad, the sponsor product ad and then convert. All right. So choosing my category. Now it says the bid suggested bid is $15 per thousand impressions. As with anything, start at some level. So I, I don't know, right? This is going to be the first time for me running these ads. So I'll just start at the 15 because that's kind of what it suggests uh, or the default. And then I will optimize from there. So if I notice that 15 is overspending or spending so much and so fast, and I'm like, you know, it's like, well, it's too crazy for me. I can't handle this budget. I'll drop it down. If I feel like 15 is not enough, I'll bring it up to 20, 25, 30, and so on. So as with anything, you know, start somewhere and then split test. So targeting is done. Now I'm going to submit for review and it says right here, my campaign has been created and is being reviewed. It might take up to 72 hours. Obviously they're probably going to review the content and then we're going to go live. And that's pretty much it. All right, cool guys. I showed you how to set this up. Now I know one of the biggest concerns is going to be Mina. I don't have a massive budget to create this entire, you know, TV ad, right? A full production. Here's the deal. Now th there's a couple of cool things I want to mention. I set up my video ad here. Let's check it out. Now, as you can tell, guys, this was not a production. This was all done, you know, with 3D renders and all that kind of stuff. It actually took my video editor about one or two days and she did that all with just, you know, the basic asset this is a 3D render and some other assets. But I didn't need to do a full production and I guarantee you, you can get a video like that for pretty cheap. But the one thing I want to note is obviously sponsored TV ads, you have to pay attention to the creative because as with any creative heavy ad, you have to pay attention to the creatives. The better the creatives are, the more they engage the customers, the more they captivate attention and entice you know, people to learn more, the better your ads are going to convert. So always make sure that you're putting your best foot forward in terms of creatives and creating really good and engaging videos when you're running sponsored TV ads. And the moment you guys have been waiting for, what are the results of the ads? So I spent $2,000 on sponsored TV ads and I'm going to share with you my exact results. Now $2,000 in spend resulted in $300 in sales. It also resulted in 230,928 impressions. But let's dive a little bit deeper. Now this took 13 days for me to spend the $2,000. The 13 days prior to sponsored TV ads, I made $20,900 in total sales. The 13 days during sponsored TV ads, when I ran the ads, I made $22,079. And guys, please keep in mind, this is Q4. This is the worst time for my product. It's an electrolyte product, so it's usually used either in the summer or in Q1 in January, new year, new me. But let's dive deeper into the results. So keep in mind, as we go deeper into Q4, my sales get worse. But here's what happened. Five days before running sponsored TV ads, I made $7,300 in sales. And now five days after I stopped sponsored TV ads, I made $9,000 in sales. Even though I spent $2,000 and only made $300 that were reported in Campaign Manager, I'm actually making $1,700 more every five days now that the ads have stopped. Is this a coincidence? All right, guys, the moment you have been waiting for, how do you get this $500 promotional credit? Well, Amazon is running a promotional credit until the end of the year, until the end of 2024 for $500 that will be applied to your sponsored TV campaign. So I'm going to put a link in the description. Go click on it. You can claim that promotional promotional credit and I highly suggest that you guys do and you can actually take advantage of this and test sponsored TV ads for yourself. So you can take that, you can use it on sponsored TV ads and you can see the impact. Now, while you're doing this guys, do not change a hundred different things. Don't optimize your main image. Don't create new premium A plus content. Don't do a bunch of things. Okay. Just focus on one thing, one change at a time, which is the addition of sponsored TV ads. Do not start spending more money on sponsor products or, you know, all these different things because you're not going to be able to measure the results. I was able to do this because I changed nothing except adding sponsor TV ads. And obviously in campaign manager results were like very, very bad. But when you look at it after turning off the ads, I'm actually making more money. So in the end of the day, it was beneficial. It's going to continue to pay me over and over and over again. And I'll share even more results later on. However, the only way you're going to be able to find that out is if you don't change too many things at once. So take advantage. The link is in the description and I'll see you guys in the next video. And thank you to Amazon ads for sponsoring this video.